Hello and welcome to our second lesson on absolute values. This is writing absolute value functions in piecewise notation. And we're going to start out by doing some stuff we learned in learned last lesson. So we'll graph y equals x minus 3 in black and as usual in red we'll graph the absolute value equation there. So let's start out with our black equation y equals x minus 3 y-intercept of negative 3, slope of 1. And there is y equals x minus 3. Okay, so for our red absolute value equation, when our y's are positive on our black line, y equals the absolute value of x minus 3 will be exactly the same as our black y equals x minus 3. And then when the black graph goes into the negative, our red graph will mirror up. So there's our red graph. So notice that for our absolute value equation, y equals x minus 3 for this positive part here. And those are for values of x, so that's if x is greater than or equal to 3. So notice I can rewrite part of y equals the absolute value of x minus 3, just saying that it's just x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, and now let's graph the third thing they've asked us to graph up here with a dotted line, y equals negative x minus 3. And if we multiply that negative in, we get y equals negative x plus 3. So I'll have a y-intercept of positive 3 and a slope of negative 1. So this is our graph of y equals negative x minus 3. So if our absolute value isn't the same as just x minus 3, then our absolute value is going to change the sign on it, which is negative x minus 3. And that will happen for all other x's, in this case, if x is less than 3. And if you like, you can simplify this part and rewrite it. So we'll end up with y equals x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 3, or with that negative multiplied in, we get negative x plus 3 if x is less than 3. All right, and next we'll do our example from the textbook. And notice we only need to do the black regular graph and the red absolute value graph to find out where the same if they're not the same, then it will be multiplied by a negative. Okay, so let's do our black graph. We're going to get a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of negative 4, so down 4 over 1. So there is our y equals negative 4x plus 4. And then our red graph will be the same through here. And then mirror up over here. So y equals the absolute value of negative 4x plus 4 can be rewritten as negative 4x plus 4 if it's the same through here. So that's if x is less than or equal to 1. And it'll be negative negative 4x plus 4 if x is greater than 1. And again, we can simplify that bottom one. So y equals negative 4x plus 4 
if x is less than or equal to 1, and 4x minus 4 if x is greater than 1. And here's our last question from the textbook. Alright, so going to be pretty much the same except for we'll have a parabola and we'll just look for where the red and the black lines are the same and where they're different. Okay, same as usual, we'll start by graphing without the absolute value in black. Notice that we only care whether or not it's above or below. So it's similar to, to a question where I asked you where this is positive, which means that we can use just the x-intercepts and the direction of the opening. So if I factor this, actually, sorry, I'm going to set this equal to 0. Set y equal to 0. This will give us the x-intercepts. First thing I'll do is divide both sides by negative 1. And then factor. which means that our x-intercepts are going to be at negative 1 and negative 3. And we can see from here that we have a negative in front of the x-squared, so our graph is going to be frowning or facing down. Sorry, should have done that in black. Our black graph is going to be frowning or facing down. So there are our two x-intercepts, negative 1 and negative 3, and now we know our graph is going to be frowning and facing down. Notice we don't care how far up or down it's going. We only care where it's going to be the same and different than the red graph. So that was our y equals negative x squared minus 4x minus 3. Okay, our red graph, well, it's going to be the same through here. And then it's going to get mirrored up on the edges. So to write it in piecewise notation, we can see that for these x's in here, the red and the black graph are the same. So y will equal negative x squared minus 4x minus 3 when our x's are between negative 3 and negative 1. And we'll include negative 3 and negative 1 in that. And then when they're the same as the negative, we'll have two places. We'll have 3 and less, or negative 3 and less, or negative 1 and up. So that's when x is less than negative 3 or greater than negative 1. There it is, piecewise notation. Um, I've tried to go as slow as possible without making this boring. Um, a lot of students have a really hard time with this. So if you need to, um, watch this video as many times as it takes. Quick summary. Notice you just graph both of the graphs, the red and the black where the red and the black are the same, it's going to be the same as the original. And where they're different, it's going to be the original times negative 1.